Hello everybody, I wanted to do a video where I'd come up with my own sort of concept because I haven't heard people talk about this and it's to do with the sort of grey man idea and if you don't know what that is, it's kind of in a bug out situation or a shit hits the fan situation, something like that um, it's where you wouldn't dress up in camouflage because it would make you too obvious so what I wanted to do in this video is kind of look at how you could maybe get clothes that would both work as camouflage if you're out in woodland or in a sort of rural area but they also wouldn't draw attention to you, because there's kind of two arguments people make. They say, the grey man idea is better because, you know, you're not going to draw attention to yourself if you're in an urban area and you're trying to get out of there, which I'd agree with. Um, but then there's people who also say, you don't want to be, you know, in the woods with jeans and a t-shirt on because you're going to be a really obvious target, you know, people are going to see you from ages really far away, you know. And I agree with that as well. But there seems to be a lot of arguments where people think you can either have one or the other, or they'll be like, you know, you need to pack a backpack full of camo because you if you don't have the camo on you'll be dead, you know, and all that sort of stuff. And then people saying, you know, but you can't wear any camo at all because if you have the slightest bit of camo on you'd be dead because people would spot you and they'd think you're a soldier or something and shoot you. So what I thought I'd do in this video is come up with maybe things you could wear that wouldn't distinguish you as somebody who was in the military or something and they w these clothes wouldn't draw too much attention to you but if you used the right combination of clothes the colours and everything of the clothes would work as a camouflage now in this video I'm not including any camouflage I think personally you could probably go 50% camo like you could have some sort of camo trousers on or a camo jacket but with normal trousers and that wouldn't really draw attention to you because when I'm out in sort of towns and places there's loads of people who wear sort of half camo I do that sometimes just simply because a lot of old uh, sort of surplus trousers and things have lots of pockets in and they're good hard wearing trousers now with the jumper I've got on before I start this is one of those sort of army I think they normally call them commando jumpers um, you can get civilian versions of these. I have kind of a civilian version of this somewhere, but I couldn't find it for this video. So I wouldn't advise really going with this particular one, because this does look very military. But you can get these sort of um, wool-type jumpers, or normal jumpers, in these same kind of brown and, brown and green colours that would blend in. I've also got, um, if you can see that under the jacket, or the shirt, I've also got an under vest on that's kind of in a brown green and they're really good, you can get them from Decathlon, the sports place they do them in short and long sleeve version, they're kind of half cotton, half kind of spandexy material so they're very comfortable, good if you're exercising in and the colour palette would be ideal for this, so what I'm going to do now is pan down the video and we're going to look at some of the items I've picked this is an extensive list, um, you know, this isn't an extensive list, there are a lot more things you could consider. It's going to vary a bit as well on the environment you're in. If you're in somewhere that's more deserty, obviously you'd want more brown and yellow things. If you're in a very light lush green thing, you might want to cut out some of the brown and just go for green. But anyway, let's scroll down and I'll show you what I've got. Okay, so hopefully this is all in frame. We have a few different things here. I'm going to walk up to them and point to them so you know which one it is for your sort of convenience. Um, and as said, I'm going to talk about some other things that aren't in the video but you could include. So let's have a look. Okay, so starting here, we have just some sort of beige trousers. I think they're kind of a moleskin material. I've got a few in the um, cupboard, the wardrobe. They'd be very good for this simply because um, that colour would not stand out in an urban area and it would also not stand out um, as somebody, you know, army wearing them. You can also get these are kind of like jeans, but they're not jeans, they're kind of denim material and you can get these in all sorts of colours. Um, these would be much better than jeans, they do not draw attention in an urban environment. These ones are in sort of a brown grey, this colour would not stand out in the wilderness at all. It's the same sort of colour a lot of tree branches and tree trunks are. Um, and you know, your eye is not drawn to it because it's a bland colour, so that's good. Here we have one of those sort of hunting, shooting sort of jackets. Um, this isn't a particularly high quality one, I can't remember where I got this from, it might be on Amazon or Ebay. Um, but if you got one of the nicer barber ones that would be very good. And this kind of material is obviously generally quite water resistant and it's browns and greens that are going to blend into pretty much any environment. A cap obviously goes without saying, if you had some sort of brown sports cap on that would be a good idea. It would hide your hair, hide some of your head and the colour is not going to stand out in the wilderness. Brown leather jacket. This is probably one of the best ones you can have. Brown leather jackets obviously look good as sort of fashion clothes and um, if you're wearing one out in the woods, this brown colour is definitely not going to stand out at all. 
Next to it, I think it's a soft, uh, soft shell jacket, but again, another kind of sandy brown coloured jacket. You can find lots of coats and things in various colours that would work for this. And to the side of that, we have a green raincoat. Obviously, raincoats are great because they can cover a large amount of your body and you can get ones that are in good colours that would work in a sort of rural environment. But as I've mentioned, I think you could personally do this with some camo stuff on as well, but just for the sake of argument, because people always argue about this, let's say you can't and you have to use things that don't have a camo pattern on. So I think these would be good examples. Okay, so what do I mean by things I've not mentioned in the video yet that you could also use? One of the things I think would be really good is if you got um, either a sort of shade of brown or a shade of green, as long as they're not really bright green, um, sort of boiler suits or, you know, overalls. Because I think you see a lot of people working in sort of cities and things with those kind of overalls on so they don't get dirty, so you wouldn't pay any attention to them. But if they're a brown or sort of green colour, as soon as you go into somewhere that's a bit more uh, rural, those colours aren't going to stand out at all. So you've got other things like that. You've got other sorts of raincoats that I've not got to show you here, you know, that can often be quite big and everything and show up, you know, loads of different colours. I've not got loads of... Um, different trousers here but obviously you can find trousers in pretty much any colour you could go for cargo trousers you know in browns or green colours you can get cargo trousers for work you know things so you can get them in pretty much any colour cargo trousers are good as well because they've got loads of pockets on so um, you know brown or green cargo trousers again certain shades of grey would work well as well like I said with those sort of denim trousers because those are the sort of shades of grey that won't um, you know actually be obvious anywhere and I think they'd work in urban areas quite well at actually hiding your shape a bit as well. So you've got all these sort of things. As I said they're just ideas because um, I you know I don't really understand the argument people make you have to do one extreme or the other. Like you can't wear any camo or um, you have to go full camo. For me it seems a bit silly because you could mix and match this. Uh, like I've got actual flecked on trousers on now. So you know, if I was wearing these flecked arm trousers around in the city, and as long as I wasn't wearing other military stuff with them, nobody would really pay any attention to it. Um, but I'm saying if you just wanted to completely get away from camo, then yeah, sure, do that. But like I was saying, it seems weird because very few people I've ever seen discussing the idea of wearing clothes that would naturally camouflage you in an environment but that aren't military items because people seem to either want one extreme or the other and again I think the most sensible thing is somewhere in the middle you can wear lots of clothes that would not stand out in an urban environment you'd look like just any other pedestrian but you'd actually have clothes that would start working well if you went out in the woods sure they're not going to work as well as full body camouflage but they're going to work well enough a lot from what I've said before in camo test videos, a lot of what hides you with camouflage on is your, the shape you're in and silhouetting yourself and things like that. So if you're crouched down partially in the bush, if you're wearing good camouflage, yes that would help, but if you're wearing colours that were naturally in the environment, doing that is still going to hide you very well. Whereas if you're somebody that is wearing perfect camouflage but they're standing with the light behind them and things like that and making a silhouette the camo is not really going to do much to help you at all so I think it's worth bearing in mind that you know the camouflage is only as good as the person wearing it and while yes you can have camo let you down in some environments I think for the most part it's your ability to hide yourself so if you know you've got some of these brown jackets on that were you know not military at all you could probably put bits of branches and leaves on them once you get out into the woods that would help hide your form even better than wearing real camo wood because that's something that soldiers used to do a lot and I don't think most militaries really train soldiers to do anymore but if you look at a lot of the old field manuals they always said about using bits of the environment you know sticking them in the collars of coats and things like that so you look you know your human form is hidden a lot more um, you know like the ghillie suit idea but you'd actually just quickly convert your um, field combat gear on by just ripping off branches and sticking them in and you know wrapping leaves over you and stuff like that so again I think that's a good example of um, clothes that you could use that aren't military at all um, obviously I'm sure if you actually go on Amazon or eBay and you look at all the clothes that you can get in browns and greens you can quickly find something that or you know shades of grey that would look good uh, in both places you wouldn't stand out in either and I think they'd give you a really good survival chance if it came to that uh, at staying hidden 
or at least not noticed in both environments. So there you go. That's my suggestions and hopefully that's helpful to you.